So this rotten plywood back here keeps crumbling as Greg is working on the steering. So I'm just going to cut it out right to the edge and leave a little bit of a flange so that a new piece here made of Nidacore can rest on that flange at the edge and cover over the hole. And maybe sometime I'll make like a storage bin that like separates the storage space under there from the build so that stuff could be stored under there. But for now, I've made the hole bigger. And there's this place at the very back underneath there where there used to be a bulkhead. And that separates the aft locker where the skegs got sawed off of the boat from the main cabin bilge. And this would be a really good place to sink the boat. So, I don't know why, probably this bulkhead was rotten plywood and was removed. So I'm replacing it with a piece of Nidacore that has fiberglass on both sides of it. I made a cardboard template and then cut the Nidacore from that, but it's taken a few test fits and trims to get it to actually fit in place. And it, it's not precise by any means. And so yesterday, at the end of the day, I put fiberglass on both sides of this. I laid up one side and then flipped it over on that plastic and laid up the other side while the bottom was still wet. And it came out pretty good. There's this one spot where it didn't quite adhere. And so I'm just going to fix that now. I mixed up just a little bit of resin. And with a chip brush, I'm just going to brush some into that crack and then put some weight on top of it to hold it down until the resin cures. And I'm just trying to work it into the crack, you know, it, the gap as far as I can. And this kitty litter bucket is full of water, so it's a nice heavy weight to press this in place until the resin hardens. And in a few hours after lunch, this resin has hardened. So I do a test fit again to make sure that it fits and I have it in the right way around. And I've mixed up some resin with some thickener. It's Fumed silica. I guess Cavasil is one brand name. I've used the generic kind because it's cheaper. And I'm wearing the mask because I mixed the silica with the resin. And the silica would be really bad to get in your lungs. And it's the fluffiest stuff in the world. It, the air gets full of it when you mix it in with the resin. It's impossible to not get a bunch of it floating around in the air. So with that glued in place, I mixed another batch of thickened resin. And I'm just going along and shoving as much of it in the crack between the nidacore and the shape of the hull. I've I told you this wasn't really precisely cut. But this will fill in the gap real nice and make it pretty solid to the hull here. And more importantly, waterproof in case that builds under the aft locker floods for some reason. It won't spread to the rest of the boat. <clears throat> And I used that whole cup of resin 
along the bottom, so I've mixed up yet another cup to fill in along the top. And this is pretty much the end of the day now, and hopefully I'll come back and maybe lay some fiberglass tabbing along the edge to make this even more solidly glued in place. But that's just it for now. <sighs>